In the previous two movies, we showed you how to apply a UV map to a pistol and rifle. In this movie, we'll show you how to assign one to a character model. Start by setting your current project to the provided scene folder, then open the file UV Toolkit Emma Start or use your own file. Unlike the previous objects we mapped, which were made up of smaller, simpler geometric shapes, the body is a single complex mesh with a lot of organic curves. In order to map UVs to it, we'll need to use a process called unfolding. For more information on the basics of unfolding, see the first minute of our previous Unfolding a UV Mesh tutorial series. First, let's hide everything except the body by disabling their layers. As usual, begin by assigning an initial UV map, this time a planar map in Z. Next, we'll want to separate this one large UV shell into multiple smaller UV shells by body part, starting with the head. In parts 1 and 2, we did this by selecting faces and creating new UV shells out of them. However, you can also cut along edges to separate meshes as well. This is often the easier method for more complex meshes like this one. While we can cut edges in the UV editor, you'll notice that on a complex 3D mesh, it can be very difficult to see what's going on. It'll be a lot easier to cut in the 3D viewport instead. Go to the UV menu in the modeling menu set. This menu contains only UV commands and tools that are usable in the 3D viewport. While we could select edges first and cut them using the Cut UV Edges command, let's instead use the 3D Cut and Sew UV tool to cut them interactively. To cut away the head, just drag around the bottom of the neck like so. You'll see the edges turn bold to indicate that their UVs are now separated. Return to the Select tool in UV Shell mode. As you can see, the head is now its own UV shell. Select it and go to Unfold in the UV Toolkit. My will attempt to unfold the head. However, the results are less than desirable. This is because it doesn't have enough seams to lie flat yet. Undo the Unfold and then reactivate the 3D Cut and Sew tool. Use it to cut some slits along the bottom and top of the head. You can hold Shift while dragging to constrain the cuts to the same edge loop. This helps to avoid cutting the wrong edges. However, if you do happen to cut the wrong ones by mistake, you can control drag to re-sew them. Finish by cutting inside the mouth. Once you're finished, unfold the mesh again in the UV editor. This time it unfolds much more nicely. The initial unfold is crooked, but you can fix that by selecting an edge along the desired V-axis and then going to Arrange and Layout, Orient to Edges. Now move the head aside so you can start working on the arms. To do both arms at once, set Symmetry to Object X. Now use the 3D Cut and Sew tool to cut around the edge loop where Emma's arm meets her shirt. You can shift double click to do this quickly since we want the entire edge loop this time. Do the same for her wrist. Next, cut a seam along the back of the arm through the elbow. Now unfold the meshes. Our unfolded meshes make pretty poor use of the UV space. It'd be a lot easier if we straighten them out. Let's try using the Unfold Straighten UVs command to fix that. Try selecting all the UVs for the arm and rotating them 15 degrees to roughly straighten them out. Then click the Straighten button. Every UV within 30 degrees on the same UV loop is straightened. However, that results in this mess due to the wide variation of angles between UVs. Let's try a different technique. Turn off Symmetry, then select just the UVs along the top of the arm by shift double clicking one UV at each end. In the Align and Snap section, align them all to the highest UV. Do the same for the bottom UVs. 
Select the UVs along the top and bottom border and pin them via the pinning section. Pinning UVs prevents them from moving during other operations. Now select the Optimize tool and brush over the interior of that rectangle. Optimizing UVs spreads them out evenly within an area. This is a much better result. Now we get an even distribution inside a more regularly shaped border. Note that if you turn on the UV distortion shader, you'll see that we've incurred a bit of distortion, shown by these red and blue areas. This is unavoidable since changing the shape of the original mesh is bound to cause some stretching or squashing. Unwrapping meshes is often a balancing act between keeping regular shapes and avoiding too much distortion. You can align the left and right sides as you did the top and bottom. And use the Straighten UVs command to straighten smaller sets of UVs if you like. It's much better suited for that kind of task. Now you can unpin all the UVs. To apply our changes to the other arm, we can use the Symmetrize command. Select the right arm UVs, then click the Symmetrize button. Now select an edge anywhere along the model's line of symmetry. We wouldn't really gain much by unwrapping the hand like we unwrap the arm, so instead use the 3D Cut and Sew tool to slice it in half. Then cast each resulting UV shell in Y. Use the Symmetrize command again to port those changes to the right side. You can use the same technique to unwrap the torso, legs, and feet. Cut seams at the waist and under the armpits to separate the torso. Then cut along the rear and inner legs, then the top boot. And finally around the soles of the feet to give plenty of room for unfolding. Then unfold each UV mesh and straighten or optimize UVs where it makes sense. Notice that the legs have flared out in a way that would make it very difficult to texture. We can quickly even this out using the Symmetrize tool. Start by rotating the edge along the mesh's line of symmetry until it's straight. Then move the entire UV mesh to roughly the center of the UV space. Alternatively, you could change the line of symmetry in the Symmetrize tool, but this is just as easy. Now click the Symmetrize tool and select the topological line of symmetry. This tool is a more interactive version of the Symmetrize command, which allows you to match one side of the UV shell to the other by painting. Now we can use the Optimize tool to smooth out the crotch region. Then use the techniques you learned earlier to straighten out the UV mesh. Once you've unwrapped all the UV shells, you can turn on the checker map texture to double check for any bad distortions. As long as the checker map pattern is roughly even around the body, then we're in the clear. 
That just leaves us to lay them out in the UE space. In parts 1 and 2 of this tutorial, we did this step manually. However, you can also use a command to do it automatically. Just select all the shells and select Arrange and Layout, Layout. Doing so fills up the UV space without overlapping the UV shells, but it also exposes some sizing issues due to the various scaling operations we performed while unfolding. However, we can quickly get back to the same size ratio by using one of these shells as a reference point. Manually scale the torso shell to the desired size. Then go to the Transform section in the UV Toolkit and scroll to the Texel Density option. Click Get. This displays that shell's pixel to unit ratio in the box. Now select all the UV meshes and click Set. This sets them all to that same density. However, we'll want to manually scale the head shell bigger, since it'll be the focal point a lot of the time and thus we'll need a more detailed texture. Now lay the rest of the shells out again. This time, add a bit of shell padding via the Options menu just to give us a bit of buffer space. Finally, to save even more space, flip the shells belonging to one arm, hand, and boot. Then stack those shells, since they can use the same part of the texture map. Now take a snapshot like you did for the pistol, and create a 2D image file from it to texture the character. Note that while we used many of the UV Editor's new tools, there are still many more that you may find useful. You can mouse over various sections in the UV Toolkit to view short tool clips demonstrating many of them. For the rest, consult the Maya documentation.